Blacks. We'll start with the Ottawa Red Blacks being short home favorites over the visiting Saskatchewan Rough Riders on Thursday, where they'll look to win four straight games within the same season for the first time since 2015. Riders head coach Corey Mace has said there's a chance Trevor Harris will play in this one, though it seems more likely that Shea Patterson will make his sixth straight start so Harris can finish his term on the injured list. JC, can Saskatchewan bounce back after a tough outing against Edmonton, or will the Red Blacks continue their hot streak? Look, if Trevor Harris was actually making his return, I'd consider this, but... I don't buy that he's coming back this week. I think it's more likely that he will sit out this one and return in the next one. And the Riders are just still too banged up for me to really trust them to get back to their winning ways. They'll probably get Anthony Lanier back along the defensive line this week. That would be a huge boost, but you look at the first day of practice, and we're recording this on Tuesday, but Monday, no Malik Carney. There was no Jameer Thurman. Those are two huge losses to that defense if they are unable to go this week. And A.J. Ouellette still not back, still injured, still unable to practice. Meanwhile, the Ottawa Red Blacks are getting healthy in all sorts of ways. Could have Brandon Dandridge back on their defense. He is a huge piece. We all know that he's a threat to score, whether on special teams or on defense. And guess what? Devontae Dedman also looks like he's trending towards a return. That's a guy who can make you pay as a returner on any given punt or kickoff. So I'm going to go with the Ottawa Red Blacks to win this game and to cover the spread. I think they'll have it at home. This is the best Red Blacks team that we've seen in a long while in Saskatchewan. While they're very good, I think they just got to get healthy. That'll start in a couple weeks time when Trevor Harris is back. Yes, I like the Red Blacks for many of the same reasons that you do, JC. They're getting healthy. They are not 5-2 and two because of their secondary. They are 5-2 and two in spite of their secondary. And they're getting a lot of help there back this week. I also think right. Well, Armstead is going to be fresh because he only played for a little <laughs> over a quarter last week before he got ejected. Those are some fresh legs into the lineup. And I'll say this for the riders last week. I think everybody was on the lions largely because they were coming off a bye and the bombers were coming off a short week. Well, guess what? This is the same situation. The riders are coming off a short week. The red blacks are on by the difference of course, is that the bombers were at home. The riders were, are not. So that is a lot to overcome. I'm still bullish on the Riders long term. This should be Trevor Harris's last game on the six game injured list. Assuming he doesn't play, I don't think he will. But I'm going to take the Ottawa Red Blacks to improve to six and two and win four straight games within the same regular season for the first time since 2015.